Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. So if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, all right y'all, so we are going to do a coffee cup reading right now. All right, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, just give me a minute to pray over the energy. Holy by Spirit, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors, Spirit Guide, Spirit Team with the highest white light. Please be with me during this reading for the Libra Collective. Please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. And please give me clear and accurate messages. Please protect me as I channel the messages for the Libra Collective. Thank you for your continued divine guidance, protection, and love, Holy Spirit. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say, Amen. All right. So let's get into it, y'all, and see what we see here in the coffee cup for my libras this is for libra sun moon rising venus north node wherever you have libra in your chart there may be a message here for you if you're a cross watcher then there may be a message here for you as well okay so here we go guys for libra all right i'm gonna let you guys take a look at the cup i don't know if you guys want to all right so let's get into it Okay, first of all, I'm definitely seeing a lot of people watching, watching you, Libra, watching you guys. I'm seeing like waves. I'm getting like waves crashing, crashing waves. Yeah, there's an evil eye. There's a, so... Whew, smack dab in the middle um yeah so the, a lot of people watching you because this i was about to say when they get over here to this darker energy i'm feeling like maybe some dark energy or negative energy and i see an evil eye like smack dab in the middle so somebody could be uh sending you guys the evil eye somebody you could wear an evil eye i'm getting something it looks like somebody pointing so i'm getting something about accusations somebody could be accusing you of something i'm also hearing negative intentions oh wow i see what is this this is a person first of all i don't know if this is a man or a woman Can y'all, yeah, I'm gonna see. Can y'all see this? Clear as day, right there. Y'all see this right here? This is the person, looks like a person. Yeah. I can't tell. It look. Okay, I'm hearing female. It could be a woman. I don't know what this person is doing. It looks like they're sitting down, they're sitting on something. This kind of is giving me. It looks like one of the kings, like uh, well, like one of the tarot. And I'm seeing a light, what looks like a light shining down on this person. And they're looking up at something. I don't know, there could be like a message coming in or something. This looks like somebody sitting on a throne. Um, wow, that's crazy. That's a whole person right there. I'm hearing divine energy though, so I don't know. It, it kind of looks like this person is sitting on a throne, like they're like it could be one of the like King of Cups, King of Swords, or something like that. But that's a whole person right there. Okay. And they're looking at something, they're watching something. Somebody may be waiting for some messages to come in or something like that. Whoa. Okay. I see another face. I see another person down there. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. But I do see another face. Um, so I'm seeing two people. I'm seeing what it looks like. I'm seeing like the moon. So you guys could be something about a Cancer, Aquarius, or a Pisces.
Mm. Okay. There's something about overcoming something, like, you know, like um, overcoming some type of obstacle or some type of something here, because this looks like a hill. It's not quite a mountain. It's like a hill. So it looks like there's like little obstacles or like a little, um, what's the word that I'm trying to think? Little struggles or something like that i wasn't trying to say struggles not obstacles not big ones at least okay because it looks like look like it could have been a mountain but it's like downgraded to a hill right so it's like something is becoming easier or you're overcoming some type of obstacles or some type of blockages or something like that here I am hearing something about moon magic, child. But this could be good or bad. I'm not sure. You may be just cleansing your crystals or something like that. Uh, oh, in the moon energy. I see like a boat with some on some water. Travel. Okay, this looks like... Uh oh, sorry. I see a... I can't tell. This is like a some type of animal, okay? Some type of animal. I can't tell if it's a dog, maybe a giraffe. Somebody, is there a year of the giraffe in Chinese Zodiac? I don't know. Could be a year of the dog or something like that. Somebody could be born in. Somebody may be going to Mexico. Something about Mexico. Somebody could have just gotten a pet or you're thinking about getting a pet. It doesn't it doesn't look like a dog or a cat though. It looks like a giraffe. Honestly. And I see a boat, so ships coming in, something could be coming in, something about travel. You could be traveling, somebody could be traveling towards you. Somebody has some type of dark energy or something like that attached to them or riding them. I'm also seeing a horse. So somebody could be born in like the year of the horse. I don't know what those are, guys. I'm not going to. But I, I think there is a year of the horse. So something about a horse could be significant. But I'm. I'm it looks like, I don't know, somebody got some type of dark energy or something like that attached to them yeah it's like mm -hmm. it's gonna be somebody in your energy or something i don't know i see something looks like some type of darkness a shadow energy or something attached to somebody i don't know i'm seeing like another evil eye you guys could wear evil eye for protection or maybe you should I'm seeing like a bow and arrow. Somebody else like they have like a bow and arrow. Somebody shooting a shot or something like that. It's like a person holding a bow and arrow. Somebody may be hunting. Maybe somebody hunts. Um, I keep hearing travel, something about a uh, destination. Somebody may be traveling, have, uh, planning some type of travel. I see what looks like an angel. So protection is here. The letter X may be significant for somebody. Something about Mart or Art. Somebody's name could be Art or something about Mart. I don't know what that is. All right, y'all. I'm just trying.
I'm gonna see if there's anything else. This person um, is interesting. Hmm. Okay. The letter R may be significant. Man, it's talking about a granddad. Somebody's granddad, grandfather. Maybe somebody's granddad's name starts with an R. Here, Ricky, Robert, Ronald, or Ronaldo. Ryan, the name Ryan may be significant. O'Ryan, I'm hearing. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna pull 11 11 as I stopped. <laughs> I'm gonna pull some tarot and see what's going on. What's the energy for Libra? Devil energy. Somebody may be dealing with a Capricorn or something about devil energy. Heavy Capricorn energy right now. Queen of Pentacles and the devil. There may be a, um, an offer, a tempting offer coming towards you guys, and, okay? One more shuffle. Yeah, Five of Swords. I don't know if you can trust it with this Five of Swords showing up. Let's see. Let's stay with you. Tower moment. Some type of shocking moment, shocking event, some type of uh, tragedy, breakthrough, epiphany, um, something... Uh, falling apart or is you know some some foundation crumbling something falling apart here a breakup a, a divorce or separation or something like that um okay let's get four cards what's the energy what's this energy see something something about a stalemate I feel like a stalemate is coming to an end moving forward Closing out a chapter or a cycle, moving forward to the next chapter. If something has been slowed down or stagnant or somebody's been taking their time with something, I feel like uh, it's about to like speed up or somebody's finally about to make a move. Okay, I'm looking for a fire energy because it feels like somebody's about to take some type of action. Yeah, what did I just say? Closing out a chapter or a cycle, going to the next beginning, the world card. is exactly what that's about. The world card is literally closing out one chapter and moving on to the next cycle, okay? Somebody could be a little confused about this. This could have something to do with love, with the relationship, okay? Yep, Ten of Cups. Ooh, the star card, child. Wow, okay. So somebody could be getting their wish fulfillment here. Yup. Okay. Give me one more. Because I see some confusion here or some illusions or some choices and decisions with this Seven of Cups. So let's see. Looking for a fire energy. <laughs> That'll let me know that somebody's planning on taking some type of action. Gonna get, okay, we got two. Oh, we got three. Oh, okay, what is this? All right, no fire. All right, somebody could have been like hiding their emotions, hiding the way they feel about something here. It's like somebody's kind of taking their time to close something out is what I feel like. Um, if somebody feels like they need to pull back their energy or if they need to close out a chapter or a cycle with somebody, they could be a little like confused, a little stagnant about it. Somebody could be taking their time. Somebody's watching you. You don't know, okay? Um, there's somebody that it could be watching you on your pages or something like that. They're hidden though with the moon card here. So that's why I said you don't know. Um, this person is hidden. They're hiding themselves with the moon card. Could be fake pages. Could be um, stalking your Instagram. Somebody could be like driving slowly past your house, maybe even for some of you. That's not for everybody. 
July 18th may be significant. July 21st, July 12th may be significant. I'm seeing December 21st, December 7th, December 18th. All right. So, yeah, it's like somebody's trying to get a, a view of you, another view of you, or view you a different way, like a different, I don't know, maybe this is somebody that you blocked or that you're not talking to or dealing with or something like that, um, because they have to hide the fact that they're watching you, okay? So, either they're doing it in secret, um, again, they could be like secretly stalking you, dropping by your house at night. They could be somebody that has fake pages and they're trying to see you a different way because they can't see you one way. Like you could have, this could be like, just say this is somebody that you blocked, um, you blocked their, their page They're They could be making fake pages to watch you. Okay. Or watching you from another person's page or something like that here. Okay. Three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken. Because you're single? Man, trying again. This may be somebody who wants to try again with you. Ten of wands. Somebody feels heavily burdened. Ace of swords by the truth. So somebody's been holding on to some type of truth. The truth is weighing somebody down. So somebody wants to tell you some type of truth here. Okay, yeah. Now there's the fire energy on top. Okay. So... Yeah, there's the action. Somebody wants to take action and come towards you. But I feel like, yeah, with the, maybe they got to end something here first. Or maybe there was an ending between the two of you, yeah, with the lovers. So maybe whoever this person is that wants to take action towards you, maybe they have to end something out here, okay? That could be this energy that we, that we're seeing, like, in this cup. Somebody just sitting, because I said, they remember I said they were looking at something, and watching, waiting on something, or looking at something. Yeah. Okay, let's clarify this right quick. I just feel like somebody has been taking their time to end something out here. All right. They could have had a trouble making a decision here, or um, they could have been confused about something, confused about you, or something here. I don't know. The energies that we have out here or um cancer aquarius libra gemini pisces um virgo taurus capricorn leo yeah okay let's clarify what is this i don't know what this is What's this Knight of Pentacles? Oh my gosh. What's this Knight of Pentacles? See, somebody's overwhelmed. They're like... Could be feeling lonely or isolated here. So I could be spending a lot of time alone. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Ooh, okay. Well, come on now. Robbery. Unfair. This is giving me Seven of Swords energy. What was on top of here? Six of Wands. This talks about unfairness. Give me, give me more for this Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here? See, apology. Apology. It's somebody from your past with a memory here. Yeah, somebody's thinking about coming towards you, reconciling with you. They want to confess something. Yeah, remember I was talking about they... Um, Holding on to some type of truth or feeling heavy or weighed down by the truth or something here. Somebody wants to confess something or they feel guilty about something or they want your forgiveness here, okay? There could be some good news coming in, but it's like slow. I also feel like whoever this is, uh, if they 
treated you a certain way or whatever because this is clearly somebody from your past they um they feel like they they realize that it was you know unfair they could have treated you unfairly or something like that here okay and i feel like they want to come in and apologize See, yeah, this person's trying to get out of a commitment. See, they want to apologize. So they could have went toward another situation here. You got family with the third wheel and then commitment. See, this person is fighting, trying to get out of a commitment here. And they feel overwhelmed. Yeah, and angry. They feel overwhelmed and angry because, I don't know, they could be going through, again, I think I said something about court or legal situations or something like that. So, but I feel like somebody's about to get some good news here. Something that has been slowed down is about to i don't know come in or something like that why is the world card here what is this what is this somebody could be getting out of jail so if somebody somebody may be getting out of jail or somebody may be going to jail child Darkness up, yeah, persecution, loneliness. I feel like somebody may be getting out of jail, or they're getting, or like I said, somebody was in some type of commitment here because you have the family card back on top. So, this, this could be a mental prison, this could be spiritual jail, this could be, um. If it, it feels like um like a like a marriage situation like, or like if somebody felt caught up or trapped in a relationship, okay? Um I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry, not that I'm just saying it's crazy because somebody's been now somebody could have you may know somebody who went to jail for robbery, this person could have gotten locked up, all right, maybe they're getting out, okay? But um this feels like somebody that was caught up in like a marriage or somebody that's been trying to, that's been going through some type of legal situations for a, a while. And they are finally about, like it's finally about to be over. They're finally about to get out of it. Okay. All right. So tell me what's the seven of cups? Why is the seven of cups here? Because I'm hearing freedom. I'm hearing the Beyonce song. Freedom, freedom, I can't move. Freedom, cut me loose. Yeah, yeah. Freedom, freedom, where are you? I need freedom too. Yeah. So this could be somebody that was actually in literal jail. Okay. Or this could be, um, it, it feels like a marriage or something like that. Somebody getting out of a long-term uh, commitment or a relationship. Okay. yeah so this person could be healing okay with the self-love here and you have coach so this may be this person could be getting some type of guidance this could be legal advice here okay this person could have been confused on how to move forward how to get out of a situation they may be seeking seeking some type of counsel some type of legal counsel some type of um it's giving me lawyer somebody may also be seeing a therapist here with the self-love and the coach here um, somebody may be a, uh, like a, um, a life coach or a therapist or something like that, or somebody may be seeing a therapist to try to like clear up their confusion or, or something like that. Okay. It's like, it seems like this person is like very foggy. Like they have a lot going on inside their mind. Again, this could be a mental prison. So somebody could be, um, seeing a therapist or a life coach or getting some type of advice from somebody somebody could even be like getting advice from like you know youtube videos and things like that here okay tell me about the moon card something's coming to an end with the death card here i feel like somebody yeah somebody's about to like stop daydreaming yeah, okay, because, yeah, the Seven of Cups, I said illusion, right? Optimism. Okay, so the daydream talks about an illusion, and then you got the death card here. So I feel like somebody is about to get out of some type, is coming out of some type of illusion here, and they could be, you know, ready to take action, to take some kind of action here. But they're scared. 
they're scared to do it. This could be somebody ending some type of marriage and they're scared to be alone. Somebody could be staying with somebody for the, you know, for the stability, for the finances, or they're, they're scared to be alone. But I feel like somebody's about to take some type of action here. Tell me why the moon card is here. Tell me why the moon card is here. Again, this could be you. This could be somebody in your energy, uh, Libra. So take the roles, however they resonate. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not, okay? But I, but stress. Somebody is definitely stressed out. Could be having a lot of headaches, lack of sleep, okay? Over some type of evidence that they found out. Ooh, somebody found out something. That somebody was trying to trap or trick them and use them for their money. Yup. Somebody's finding out that their whole life or their whole relationship or situation with somebody was nothing but an illusion and that this person was like using them the whole time, robbing from them, okay? Um, I'm hearing, uh, I heard how robbing Peter to pay Paul. So somebody's name could be Peter or Paul, but um, yeah. So if this was a marriage or like a, what, a relationship or where somebody was committed to the other or living together or had kids together or something like that, one person could have found out that the other person was like robbing from them, uh, robbing from them, <laughs> stealing from them, like you taking their money. I'm getting like somebody putting, um, somebody taking, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, somebody taking out of their account and like putting it just say just say somebody's married and they have a joint account and then they find out that the person that they have this joint account with has been taking money 26 26 on the timer taking money out of their account and putting into into putting it into a private account so basically kind of stealing from them right but that's not for everybody i'm just using that as an example this could be somebody stealing somebody's time somebody's um you know, energy, you know, just wasting somebody's time. Okay. But I feel like, um, it's gonna, it's gonna be a surprise to somebody when they find this out. Somebody may be going to jail for this or, um, I don't know, but okay. With the moon card here. Yeah. See, this may be a lawsuit with the, this says sue. Somebody could be suing somebody. Or this is like a court situation. Somebody's protesting something. Somebody's against something. Somebody's ready to take action now, okay? I, I said I needed to see a card of action. And um, clarifying this moon card is readiness, okay? And this person is ready. They're in their set position, okay? They're on their mark. They're set and they're about to go, all right? It's preparation, arrangement. Somebody's making some type of um, decisions and some type of movements here, but it's behind the scenes. It's behind somebody's back. So I feel like somebody could be secretly planning to leave a person, to file for divorce. Maybe somebody's ready to sue a person. This could be some type of um, public lawsuit or or. Like, I don't know. It, it just feels very court situation-y to me. It feels like somebody getting out of some type of commitment, somebody that has been hiding something, but now they're ready to move forward. Now they're ready to speak their mind. Now they're ready to, you know, move on to the next stage or the next level here, okay? Yep, see, I told you. I knew I was about to see this card. That's why I said, ready, set, go. This person was in, they, they were on their mark, getting set, and then go. Look at that. Go. Jumping over those hurdles. Uh-huh. Okay. So somebody's about to take some type of action here. I don't know what this has to do with what this is about, but somebody is about to take some type of action. What is the page of swords? It could be a class. What I don't know what a class action lawsuit is, but it could be that. Isn't that when they have those big things like um, if you took Tylenol when you were pregnant, then call and get this amount of money. It could be something like that. I don't know. What's the page of swords? You got luck. Fortune and jackpot and reward. 
with gaining on the bottom. Somebody's gaining some type of reward for something. Yeah, so if this is like a law, a court situation, somebody's about to get some money, okay? Somebody's about, could be about to win a jackpot. They maybe have keeping this on the hush here. But if somebody if, like is suing somebody or something like that or filing for a divorce and they're trying to get some type of alimony or settlement or something like that, I feel like they're going to have a victory in that shit. <laughs> um... Yeah, if this is you, you may not want to tell nobody. Somebody's about to gain something. Don't put it in the comments if this is you, okay? <laughs> Unless you want to, but hell. So I feel like somebody's about to gain something. Yeah, profit. Somebody's about to profit something, and, and something is about to be over. Didn't I say in that cup somebody had some type of negative, dark attachment to them? See, see what I'm talking about? There it is right there. Somebody's got some type of attachment that they've been trying to get rid of. And this could simply be trying to um, get rid of whoever this person is in their energy. I feel like somebody has been scared to move on here, but I feel like they're about to get some type of something that's going to enable them to, you know, to move on. Yeah, fate. It's meant to be, and it's time. It's divine timing. So something is meant to be. It's divine timing. It's been a long time in the making here. Okay, this is what's up. I also feel like somebody's going to have to sit back and watch this other person be rewarded and get this fortune and this win here, okay? Remember I said a lot of people watching, so this could be you. Somebody could be having to watch you win, watch you have some type of victory or reward or something like that here, okay? Remember I said a lot of people watching you, and we have the six of wands on the top of the deck here. So, yeah, a lot of people watching you. This is a celebration, okay? Um, this could have some type of platform or something like that, some type of public figure or something, okay? Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? I'm hearing something about caution or taking precautions or something like that. <sighs> Ooh, okay. All right, somebody's drinking too much. Somebody need to stop drinking so much. Okay, I don't know who that's for, but somebody needs to stop drinking so much. Somebody's doing something in excess, okay? Doing too much of something. And with the libation out here, it could be drinking for some of you. Um, but this says, it. This, this talks about religion, though. This says donation, pray, and religion. And then this is another card of like prayer. I'm getting like show me, showing um, thanks and things like that. I, You know what? I feel like... Honestly, I feel like somebody's manifestations are about to come into fruition is what I'm getting here. Um, I feel like somebody has been praying for something, manifesting something here. They've been, um, you, this could be you. They've been healing. You're coming out of a tough situation here. It could have seemed like something was taking forever, like it was never going to get here. But I feel like with all of the the healing and all of the prayer and all of the manifesting and all of the believing and giving it over to spirit and the universe and things like that, I feel like somebody's dreams are about to become a reality, like period. I feel like somebody's dreams are about to become a reality. There's something happening in the background. It's a lot of darkness too. If this, like I said, this is you or this is somebody in your energy. This is both. Put yourself where you fit in here. Somebody was afraid of being lonely or stressed out about being. I just feel like somebody's been on a really dark road. You've had to deal with a lot of loneliness, a loneliness, a lot of hate, a lot of people gossiping about you, talking about you, a lot of people trying to trap you up, a lot of people lying to you, a lot of people like stressing you out. And I just feel like you about to come out on the other side here. There are people that's going to be angry about this, but something is divine timing. And I feel like you're about to get the kind of the, the help that you need here. Hmm. All right. How do we close this out? Let me find the messages. You, I can't. Look. Triumph. A victory with a win. That's how you close this out. Period. Period. Oh, my God. Blessings. Yo. Oh, my God.
gosh, yes. I feel like all of the pressure, all of the stress, all of the lack of sleep and all of that is about to be worth it, y'all. Because I said, Spirit, how do we close this out? Spirit said, with a mother-loving win, do you hear me? Success, victory, triumph, blessings, and trust and honesty and compatibility. 34-34 on the timer. You're going to close this out with with love, with blessings, your finances are going to be good. You're going to be blessed all the way around. Self-love, real love, a person coming into your life here. Um, all types of victories and success and blessings, and it's beautiful, okay? Something about August 19th, maybe significant. August 23rd, I'm seeing here, okay? Leo season may be important here. Uh, I'm seeing August 5th. Yeah, I'm seeing um, May, May 19th, May 23rd, May 8th, okay? So August, I feel like August Leo season is going to be very, very good to somebody. Y'all better hit that like button if y'all claiming this. Like it, like it, like it, okay? I, I feel like this is saying that everything that you've been through is worth it in the end the blessings are coming i went oh my gosh i cannot this is beautiful beautiful ending all right guys so i'm gonna leave it right there um i hope this message helps somebody out if y'all don't forget to like share subscribe to your girl and i will see y'all in the next reading all right bye my love thank you for watching